boy. And just like that, it is officially over. And you know what one of the worst parts about this whole thing is? Is that the Ravens didn't even give themselves a chance to count on these other teams to do the job for them. Because they couldn't even do the job for themselves. Now, we know that it is Ravens' fault and only Ravens' fault that they are even in this position in the first place. Because of blunders and bad calls and bad execution and just a mix of so many different things that has led them to one, two, three, four, five, six losses in a row. Six losses in a row. Uh, and Ravens have nobody to blame but themselves. Uh, but even today, they couldn't even give themselves the dignity today to be like, all right, we took care of our own business. All right, now, now it's on everybody else. Now let's see how the chips fall. Let's see how everything aligns. Because even if you were scoreboard watching, during the game, it was like Jaguars. Okay, Jaguars got out to like a seven-point lead. Okay, whatever. No big deal. All right, Jaguars got out to a 10-point lead. Okay, okay. All right, no big deal. Okay, Jaguars got out to a 13-point lead. Okay, what's going on here? Ah, we'll see. And then Jaguars just kept piling it on, piling it on, piling it on. And then it looked like Jaguars had firm control of their game. And they kept firm control of their game. And they won their game. And it was like, oh, wow, Jaguars taking care of business and, and they putting up points. We got to do the same thing. Ravens got to do the same thing. Ravens, get this thing. Oh, I know they about to make it happen. I know Ben Roethlisberger getting ready to retire, send off, blah, 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 blah. I ain't worried about all that right No. Nope. Wrong. Wrong. And the Steelers... With the Steelers winning this game and the Jaguars beating the Colts, I'm pretty sure as long as the Raiders and the Chargers don't tie and there is a winner, then the Steelers, they enter the playoffs. Wow, they enter the playoffs. As long as these Raiders and Chargers don't tie tonight, Steelers enter the playoffs. And Ra Ravens playoff hopes their chances are done now i know um i was looking at the score earlier and i'm getting ready to actually refresh it to see what it's looking like now okay it's 24 10 as of this recording the dolphins are up on the patriots now had the dolphin if the dolphins do end up winning this game okay cool that would have helped a little bit as far as how we feeling because if the ravens even if the ravens won today and the dolphins they uh they won too that would have eliminated the ravens from playoff contention um but again ravens didn't even put themselves in that position in the first place and they like they, they even if they could have just been like, all right, we can't get in. Y'all ain't getting in either, Pittsburgh. Nope. And they had so many opportunities too, as well. So many opportunities. Of course, Tyler Huntley, uh, him and Bradley Bozeman, they had that double fumble on one play. Uh, Tyler Huntley threw that interception on that ball intended for Mark Andrews. There were some times where he missed Mark Andrews. Of course, Hollywood, he had just the, the, the drops today in the, in the bad situational drops. Um, there was some situational play calling that was very suspect. I mean, what's really new. Um, and, and the Steelers just, the, the, on offense, on defense, the Ravens were just, there was some suspect stuff going on, man. And more so on offense, because defense, they, they, they held the Steelers to a 13 points in regulation. And if you holding a team to 13 points in regulation, then, yeah, oh, you, you're good. You're good. You, uh, you, you won that game. Oh, no, not these Ravens. Not these Ravens. But playoffs, playoffs, they, it, 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 was, it was a long shot with the situation this week. But what's crazy is that you go back previous weeks, it had been a short shot. It had been like, oh, yeah, they, they straight. They got it. And they were once sitting atop the AFC, number one in the AFC, number one in the conference. And then they go from first to worst. They were number one in the conference, number one in the AFC North. 
But now they're in last place in the AFC North. That's how they finished last place in the AFC North. And we know so many people were hurt. But the last place in the AFC North. To lose six straight, really? Where you were in, what, five of those six games? You were in them. You were in this game. You were in the Packers game. You were in the, uh, the, the, the Steelers game. You were in the Rams game. <sighs> but it is what it is, man. So... We'll see how these playoffs go. It's unfortunate that Ravens aren't going to be in it. But I know, yeah, there's always next year. And, and there is technically next year. But you don't know what's going to happen next year. That's why I always say, hey, go for it, man. Go for it. Try to win. Try to make something happen. But now it's, it, it's, it's over. It's over. Ravens have to wait until next year to make anything happen. They got to wait until next season to do anything. And we don't get any more Ravens football uh, until August of 2022, preseason. And then, of course, September uh, when the regular season starts. Uh, and we wish it could have been different. Yeah, injuries played a big part, a uh, huge part. Ravens lost a lot of significant players. They, they, they certainly did. There is no denying that at all. None. But they still had plenty of opportunities. They still did. Had plenty of opportunities. And this team, they fought. They fought hard. They fought tough. But how many times are we going to hear those same speeches? Oh, yeah, this team put up a great fight, but they end up coming up just short. How many times are we going to hear those same words? These Ravens, they gave it their all, but it just wasn't enough. How many times are we going to hear that same story on repeat? Oh, man, these Ravens, they put so much heart into this game, but they, they just couldn't get the win. How many times are we going to hear that? I don't know, man. I don't know. But I guess we won't hear it anymore this season because ain't no more moral victory games to play in. Because all those moral victories that the Ravens have been getting, they don't equate to wins on the, on the win column. So they count as losses. Uh, so that's why the Ravens find themselves on the outside looking in. And it's crazy because we, we would have this conversation. It took a long time because, again, they were number one. Then they would drop and drop and drop and drop. And we were like, oh, man, as of right now, the Ravens find themselves on the outside looking in. And it's crazy because during this season, it was so many times it was like, OK, the Ravens lost this week. Oh, but this other team lost. So that Ravens, stay at the, they stay at the same spot. Then it was the next week. Oh, uh, the, the, the Ravens, they lost today. Oh, man. Oh, no. But this other team lost. So the Ravens stay in that same spot. Oh, the Ravens lost today. Oh, but this team lost. This team lost. So Ravens, they're not in the same spot. They just dropped the spot, but they still in the playoffs. And that would keep happening and happening. Ravens kept losing and they kept dropping. But we're like, oh no, but they still in the play. Oh, they still in the play. Oh, they still. Not anymore. Not anymore. And there were a lot of people that would question when we would say, even when the Ravens were winning, we would question. Like we would be like, man, this this team. It's nice that they winning, but they got to make adjustments. They got to improve. It, this is not good enough. And people were like, but but no, they're winning. And we said, no, it's still not good enough though. And they'd be like, oh no, you, you guys are just complaining. Y'all just complaining. No, there was a reason. There were reasons. And now you, you got to see a lot of the reasons too. And again, it's not just injuries. Injuries are a big part now. Don't get me wrong. But it's not just injuries. Because like I said, they've had opportunities. But anyway, um, just like the Ravens are, when it comes to being in the playoffs, <laughs> I'm out. Team, keep it clean. It's been fun. Ravens, it's been great. I love you. Y'all enjoy yourselves and enjoy watching the playoffs. Oh, yeah, we, we can all watch the playoffs together because we all be right at home.